Hello, I'm Haley. I'm Korean. Hello, I'm your Korean friend Haley. Today we're going to learn two Korean exp expression. Hello, I'm Haley. I'm Korean. In my case, okay? So you can use it in your case. I'm gonna tell you how to do that too, okay? So, hello, I'm Haley. Let's start with that sentence. The first one. Hello. Hello in Korean is 안녕하세요. Okay? 안녕하세요. So you can use it in every time. 안녕하세요. I think I use it every time, like every day, like at least five times. When I go out, I have a security guard in front of my house. So I say, 안녕하세요. Okay? And then when I go to the cafe and then in, in going inside and I say, 안녕하세요. Yeah, like that. So I used 안녕하세요 a lot. So you can use it, 안녕하세요. Okay? 안녕하세요. And I am Haley. I am Haley. How to say that? I am is 저는. Okay? So 저는. 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 Hailey. So I'm going to say, I'm going to write it in Hailey in Korean, okay? Hailey. Hailey. And yeo. Okay? 안녕하세요. 저는 Hailey yeo. Okay? And in this time, I'm going to tell you my Korean name as well, okay? My Korean name is, it's really similar with Hailey. It's He Lim. My name is He Lim. So He Lim. And there's a little bit difference with this part. This is kind of a grammatical part because in here I cannot write Ye Yo. I have to write E A Yo. E A Yo. Haley, why there is difference? It's the same word. It's the same meaning. Yeah, it's the same meaning. But you have to know there is a little bit grammatical part. This is important. This part is important. Haley and Haley. Can you see the difference in here? Yeah, it's a different word. But in here, the last word, the last word. We don't have anything. We don't have anything in here, but lim. When you see in here, there is something in the last consonant. So if there is a last consonant, and then we have to put yeo, but if there is nothing in the last consonant, you have to put the yeo. Okay? So uh, go to the Google Translator and then write your name and translate in Korean. Okay? And with that name, if you have the last consonant, you have to choose yeo. But if you don't have any last consonant, it has to be yeo. Okay? So, 안녕하세요. 저는 헤리 예요. 안녕하세요. 저는 해림 예요. Okay? Got it? Good. And then, I am Korean. How to say your country? And in Korea, we don't say Korean. It's a Korean is actually Korea person, right? Korea person. So in Korea, we say 저는. It's a same. 저는. 저는. And Korea person. So Korea in is 한국. 한국. And person is 사람. So 한국 사람. Oh, this is the first and then the second. 저는 한국 사람, Korea person. And look here. There is the last consonant. And then what do I have to choose? It has to be here. Right? Good job, everyone. So, 한국 사람, 이에요. Okay? Good. Okay, so I'm going to read. 저는, 저는 한국, Korea, 사람, person, 이에요. Okay? Good. So go to the Google Translate and put the name of your country in Korean. Okay? Just change in this part. Hello, everyone. I am going to introduce myself. 안녕하세요. 저는 헤일리에요. 
안녕하세요. 저는 한국 사람이에요. 안녕하세요. 저는 혜린이에요. 저는 한국 사람이에요. 오케이? 그쵸? 오케이 친구들. So this is the today's expression. This one. And I'm going to see you in the next time. See you next time. And if you have any comments you want to say, please let me know in the comments below. Okay? And I'm always watching you. So thank you for coming to my class and see you in the next time. 친구들 안녕.